Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and I'm coming at you with another from the Ashes Guide. This one being the third and final installment in the Which Building Should You Build series. Uh, the first two covering the Swordsmith, Armorsmith, and then the Bakery and Butchers. This one will of course be what I consider to be the most important choice and it is between the Guard Hosts and the Stables. Each one adds interesting items, and each one produces a certain amount of revenue. We'll go through all of that in this video. I'll also give you a brief tour, and hopefully it'll help you decide which one you think you should build. But, without any further stalling, let's just jump right into it and go through the facts. Alright, so if you look in the page here, here's the stables. It's one of the choices for, you know, another one. It's the opposite of guardhouse. It can't be built with it. And it says, Owning stables is a privilege enjoyed by very few. The head grooms manage them for their liege lords and have a great responsibility in handling their valuable mounts for which they deserve recognition. Uh, and the upgrade for this is called Saddler's Equipment. Uh, with the Saddler's Equipment, it generates 245 groschen a, a month, or a week, or whatever that's for, and uh, adds 8 population to the village, and it provides horses for merchants, which is another 120 groschen. So again, it feeds into the economy like many of the structures here. This one also adds several valuable things. Alright, so the stable can be found down here right next to the front bridge uh, across from the training outpost. This will be where the option for one of these two buildings will be. If you choose the stables, obviously it gives your village a pretty relaxed look, at least in my opinion. Uh, and, uh, you know, several buildings. It looks a lot like Neuhof other than, you know lacking the large stone walls all the way around it. If you're inside, it's a pretty standard building, plenty of room. As I said, uh, pretty valuable revenue-wise and also resource-wise over there's the barn. Uh, the most notable thing here would be the addition of these three new horses, which are all just fantastic horses. If we start over here with Shadowfax, we can inspect her. And uh, she's got a speed of 42, capacity of 268, courage of 15, and stamina of 490. The next is uh, Argo, if we or Agro, who has a speed of 41, capacity of 268, courage of 20, and a stamina of 450. And lastly, we have Shadowmere, which actually I uh, I purchased this one because it was personally my favorite, uh, which has a speed of 35, capacity of 292, courage of 13, and a stamina of 490. All of these horses, to the best of my knowledge, are better than any other horses that were previously in the game. So if you build this. Uh, the stables here, if you choose the stables, you get access to those horses, and they're great horses. So depending on when you do this in the game, uh, that might be a pretty easy choice for you. If we pop into here, into the trader here, you can look around and there's actually quite a few things. Uh, you'll get, obviously there's two skill books here that I've already, uh, I've already read, so they're not, they're not much good for me. But you also get access to a lot of new stuff here. So this is one of the ones that's kind of a harder choice because you've got quite a bit to lose by choosing one or the other. Obviously, you got spurs here. That's nothing big. But the big news is not that that one I actually put there. So that one's not new. That's from uh, the one in one of the other places. But all these caparisons, as far as I know, caparison, they're all new. So, and they're all pretty sharp looking. Again, uh... One of the, that's also was mine, I sold it to him. One of the newer things that was added with this are all these, uh, Chanfron and Crinieri. I don't know how to pronounce that, but you get several new options. Most of them, these ones down here, obviously colored would go with certain caparison, comparisons and not with others. This one's the best one, kind of ugly in my opinion, but it's the best one. And then this one is the one that is added, I mean, that is shown in the trailer. So, all of them are valuable, uh... But that's what's added with this, so along with the revenue and the new horses, you also get several new caparisons and uh, horse armor. Okay, so here in the book we have the guard host, which is obviously opposite to stables, so they can't be built together as one or the other. Uh, and it says, in times of peace, the guard house is home to the forces of law and order. In times of war, it serves as the town armory and military barracks. Naturally, it also has a combat arena where the men can train. The upgrade for this is the archery range, which again costs 2,000 groschen and uh, allows you to practice archery or, you know, screw around whenever you want to. If you pop up in the gener uh, generates section, you can see the basic structure adds 13 population, of course those being men-at-arms, uh, and 110 groschen income. 
Uh, once you build the Archer Rage, that adds another 50 Groshen. And having the perk Safe Village, which, you know, obviously that's self-explanatory. Your village is now safe. Also generates 35 Groshen. I'm not sure how, but I guess people pay for it. Uh, so that gives you a total of 195 Groshen income and 13 population. And uh, it also provides another 150 Groshen for your tavern income because they are now customers for the tavern. So right there, it's a decent income increase. All right, so if we pop down into the building site area for the guardhouse, you can see it's the same spot, obviously right across from the trader, trading outpost, same as the stables. Uh, but here we have a much more defined structure, obviously very military in nature. Although the main housing unit looks pretty similar, we have this, this outer wall with defensive towers. Uh, up front you can see soldiers camp, and here we have a training arena. Uh, in the back you've got more camp area. Uh, through here you have kind of... An armory is what I assume that's supposed to be. I guess I could pop right back over here and show you the archery range right away. Where was it? It's somewhere around here. We'll have to find it. But uh, up in there, it's a very standard barracks. Nothing special to see in there. What there is special to see is inside here, there will be... Obviously, I already looted them, and it's kind of dark on screen, but I can tell you, you know, there's a ton of arrows in the barrels and a bunch of shields on the wall. And... Uh, What's most important here is inside this chest, which, again, I've already taken it out so I won't pop in there, but I'll go into my inventory and show you in there, is uh, right here. Uh, we have the... Okay, so I can show you all of them. So here's the Sinew Bow, and uh, it's added with this DLC, so it's new to the game, but it's the new best bow. It's better than the Yulong Bow. Uh, it does require... Strength of 16, agility of 11, agility of 11 to use, so it is a higher level one, but uh, damage-wise, 82, that's great. You know, so that's that's what you get with this. As far as I know, you can't get it anywhere else in the, in the town. And it also, if you're going to be building the sword shop, it makes a lot of sense to build the guard, guard, guard house with it instead of the stables, because you can get access to this. You'll find it on the wall, this heavy shield here, which is just a heavy shield. It's just, you know, it's got the same stats as a regular heavy shield, but it's got the bore on it, so it, it has the same aesthetic as the unique sign. So what you're getting here is, you know, if you do the swordsmith, then you should do the uh, guard outpost, because that way you get access to the special sword and the shield. But most importantly, you get that new bow, which comes in super handy. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the guard outpost. Well, that does it for this video, and with this video, if you watch the other two in this series, then that completes the whole decision-making process for Between All the Buildings. Uh, this one, of course, being for the stables and the guardhouse. Now, if you're going from a strictly revenue standpoint, the stables do produce 20 more groschen, so they do make more money that way. Plus, they, just as a quick recap, they grant you access to a unique head armor for the horses that you can't get from the blacksmith. All the rest of them you can and several new Capricorns, as well as three new horses, which in my opinion are better horses than any of the other ones available in the game. Although they are close, you know, it's not a giant difference, they are better horses. So from that standpoint, the stable makes a lot of sense. That being said, the guard post makes your village quite a bit safer, make, gives you a lot more population, helps it look quite a bit busier with people walking around, especially men-at-arms, uh, as well as grants access to several new weapons, a new place to train, and you know, just a lot of overall, you know, it, it's it's close. This one, like I said, is the most important, in my opinion, the most important choice. Uh, but depending on your playthrough and your style, you know, this one could be a hard decision. Personally, I think I gotta go with the guard post, especially if I'm pairing it with the swordsmith, but, you know, it's all down to you. So, in the end, I hope you liked this video. If you did, drop a like, maybe consider commenting down below, and if you haven't already, I think you should subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you can stay up to date with all my Kingdom Come Deliverance related content. But in any case, thanks for watching this video, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.